Right, well, we've put it back in, <coughs> and what we've done is we've we've seamed it up, like under there, under there. You might not be able to see it very well, but when they're not great, well, the back ones aren't great, but they're strong enough. And I just wanted to see what it's like, <coughs> so I put a uh, a known good 12 volt battery on it, and uh, connect it up. We'll see, watch what happens. Hey, look at that. Hey, hey. <coughs> so we've got, you know, obviously it's spinning there. There's the wheel, it's giving it. Obviously, there's no resistance as such, really. So, you know, that's going to be like 40 or 50 miles an hour easy, but it's not really going to be that because once you get power behind it, <coughs> then it tends to go down. But crucially, the reason why I'm quite happy about it is because of my uh, <coughs> my weld job. Look at that. Yeah, I'm trying to hold it still. But look at that. That's true, isn't it? Hey, look at that. Not moving at all. It's pretty true. I can't believe it's so true. There's a little bit of wobble there. You can see it. If you look carefully. So it's not perfect, but it's good, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. Hey? I mean, I don't know what speed it's going at. And what it is, you see that one's on the ground, and this one's rotating. <coughs> I just, all I did is just lifted one off the ground. <coughs> yeah. Just to give us an idea basically it's uh, you know whether it's going to be a bone shaker or not and it isn't I don't know what speed that's at uh, but it's not I mean I think uh, I think that's pretty much that's going to be about something like 40 miles an hour I would say I don't know you can see the rotation speed yeah I'll just get a picture of it I can time it afterwards because I can get it from the frames <coughs> and then we can see what speed that's going at and obviously that wheel there is going on is the only one that's turning so the actual if I've jacked up both it would be half so I think that's probably it would run at about 30 miles an hour and that's the sort of thing that's the sort of speed that the shaft would be rotating at, at 30 miles an hour which is fine battery's getting flat already so you can hear it. <laughs> Losing it already. Just shows I've only been running this, what, for about a minute on a 40 amp hour battery. I don't know what condition it is, but it was pretty good. But I've got a few of these batteries. Yeah, look at that, wow. Let's put that back on charge. In fact, I'll stop it beforehand. There we go. So what I need to do now is do the electrics. Oh, I, I need U-bolts, which I'm going to use to bolt those down. Yeah. I mean, I guess, because I've got some time yet, so I guess I can do the Ford reverse circuit. Which would be very, very useful, to be frank, to have a Ford and reverse circuit. Yeah, because it's, a, oops, sorry, because it's quite annoying to have to get out and push the back when I've got a power plant in it. So uh, we'll we'll do a forward and reverse, and uh, and then at least that gives us the uh, the ability to manoeuvre it, and uh, yeah, very chuffed. It's gone in easy, yeah, and the welding's good. And all I need to do now is bolt it down with U bolts, and then we can take it out for a drive. Cool. Any more than that though? Oh, it lasted a minute. <laughs> a minute. Crikey. Yeah. Anyway. <sighs>